That was not nearly as exciting as it was in the original game. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? My god, what are you doing? The vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. <laughs> yeah, you best no, we won't. Adam and split. Cause uh, that was um that was you know who's lunch. Nah, he'll be okay. Not to mention it looks it looks fine. Like literally the original game made it more clear that there was a catastrophe that took place than that did. I love why are you asking him? He's a security guard. Is this an empty can? Why is there an empty can in the vending machine? It is! It's been opened! Why is it in here? You better make like a nut and bolt. If you make one more joke like that, I will impulse 101 and completely kill all of you. <sighs> These sodas have been opened. Why were they restocked the into the vending machine? Support? Uh, I think it's six nine four two zero. All right. Anyway, see you guys. Ha, <laughs> ah, speak for yourself. I get to wear a cool suit. Oh, look at this room. Every time I see this room, I can't help but thinking about Half-Life VR. That the AR is self-aware. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Wait. Did they change the names? Did they change the names? There should be a Coomer in here. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. There's probably some other Joker, like, uh, like an inside thing going on in here, but I can't believe that they changed Dr. Coomer's name. It's just the most terrible thing. Okay, random child. Gordon Freeman, doctor. Doctor! Doctor! If anybody calls me Mr. Freeman again, they instantly get shot. I don't care who they are. Is your job just to stand in this room and complain about the dress code? What's this? What is this? Color... what? Why is this... in my room? Or my... It's just a box. Okay, anyway. I pushed the button. Let's suit up. Ah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Nice. Contaminant sensors activated. Vital signs. Yeah. Gordon Freeman is very slightly under six feet tall. He's like, according to this, he's 11, or he's five foot, 11.9 inches. So the next time you're feeling down, guys. Of course, they were being kind of stingy on that because I'm pretty sure anybody would have rounded up six feet on that. Hello? Ha. Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Ah, uh, yeah. Hold up. <laughs> oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Yeah, no problem. You got it? Okay, good. My day in the hazardous environment suit. Are all of your voice lines about clothing? Yeah. It has
has been a while since I've played this game. I think this is the way. Okay, hey, hey, buddy, let me in. Go right on through, sir. Thank you. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Yep, that's right. Hey. Hi, Gordon. Hi. We're working as a team. Are you are you sitting here and watching these things? You're like a, you're, you're like a physical scientist or something. You're like, uh, you probably have a doctorate in something. Why are you watching those things like a five-year-old? Okay, anyway, elevator. Gotta get to that test chamber. We've only been recording for half an hour and we still haven't gotten into the test chamber. Okay, here we go. Let me in. Let me in. My game just crashed. It just crashed. What? I paid for this game. There we go. Oh, let's save real quick, just in case this thing decides to do that again. Okay, glad that loading another level wasn't too much for us this time. Did you catch that last I know I'm being sassy about this, but... <laughs> Are you sure it's nothing to worry about? Just checking. Okay, that's good. Alright. Test lab access plasma cells. Ionization chambers. All of this sounds scary. I'm not sure if I was trained for this. Guys, is this a bad time to tell you all that I lied on my resume? Photonic energy to ensure resonance control. That I just, it, it was only a little. Is this burnt? You aren't going soft on that ethics issue again, are you? Oh my! Hi. It's been a mess down here this morning. You sound fun. a lot like Barney. Are you Barney? Okay. Uh, test lab access plasma cells. Ooh, yes, glowing beam stuff. Hi, how are you? You'll just have to wait until after the test. I don't want to wait until after the test. I want to do it right now. I don't even know what I was doing, but I don't want to. I want to. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. You might explode much, anyway. Much worse. That yes. Just an interesting thing that you said about the whole exploding thing. Yeah. Yeah. My horoscope said for me to take the day off. Your horoscope was right. Weirdly enough, your horoscope's right. I don't know why you're reading horoscopes. You're a scientist of apparently some regard or renown, whatever word I was looking for there. Ah, Gordon. Hi. There you are. Dr. Nice Kleiner? You join us, doctor. Shut up. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Okay. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Cool. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. What are we gambling? The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Yes. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. What are we... Come on, then. I'll walk you down. What are we gambling? You said it was a bit of a gamble. Like, gambling on what? What happens if it goes wrong? I've been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Oh, cool. Where is he? I want to see him. Greetings, Eli. Greetings, Eli. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh, it's about to go critical. Oh, that doesn't look good. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? <sighs> yeah, I, I really want to know. To do this in the first place. Well, yeah. <sighs> but wait a minute. What? What's it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, <sighs> Eli? I, I, uh, uh, Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. I have some concerns. 
Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Fine. Fine. Don't listen to me. Here's one of your... This looks like a like a motherboard. Actually, it looks like a pretty normal motherboard. But uh, here, it came off, so probably put that back on. Or replace it. It's probably ruined now, honestly. Okay. Hey, yo, guys. Bye, Krell's ghost. The radiation what? level is off the charts. I don't know what curse that you just used. Do you know how to fix a paper jam? Do I know how to fix a paper jam? Did you just ask me that question? Do you know where we are right now? Okay. Okay, all of you are making me sick. I'm just gonna do the thing. And if I die, I'm suing all of you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Yep, hombre. See you later. Okay. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today. Yeah. But... Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity mm. for us. This uh, is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially yeah. the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. <laughs> I don't know how Are you, you the guy of Stanley Parable? Although I will admit He's a narrator? that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. Oh, you are! He's a highly trained professional. Yes, I am. He assured the administrator that nothing mm. will go wrong. Yes. Have you assured him You're enough? Right. Gordon? What's a resonance cascade? Confidence in you. Okay. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Listen, guys. About the risk factor here. Don't worry, I definitely know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is obviously a big machine that Testing. Um Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Yeah. Hi. Okay. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. This machine is amazing. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and the start detail. the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. I don't know what you guys are saying, but okay. Boop. Ah, oh, it's so neat. Very good. It really does look cool. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Ooh. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Did I just die? <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to die. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable balance again. Sustaining In sequence. what? In what, dude? We've just been informed. What did you see a discrepancy in? Ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Got it. Can I touch it? Standard insertion or non-standard specimen. All right, let's see and get in, fellas. Well, that could have gone better. Wow. It's calling to me. Oh, no. Those people are dead, aren't they? 
Very nervous. Okay. Unforeseen consequences. Well, it's a miracle that I survived. Let's get out of here, guys. But first, let's take a look around. Oh man, look at it. It's all broken and destroyed. Look at the fire! Look at the particle effects! Look at everything! Okay, now we're done. Oh no, it's all horrible! Barney, no! Sorry, I took your med kit. Barney. Barney, stay with me, man. I don't even know if you are Barney, but stay with me, man. Oh, it looks so cool. Just like so desolate and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so morbid. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it's so, it's so cool. Oh, and the flashlight even swings around. System overload. You don't say. Hmm. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Listen. Eli! Dr. Kleiner! I, tried to warn I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat! He's alive! Schrodinger's Go cat. With. Thank God for that hazard suit. Yeah, seriously. Guys, I saw weird I stuff. In the there were these things with tentacles coming out of their mouths. And these three here. finger things. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Seriously. Do not adopt this. Don't do it. Help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you in the clear. You hear me? Yeah, I will. Don't adopt that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Dr. Kleiner, listen to me. What an interesting anterior. Don't wonder what its stomach is. Don't do it! Oh. Ooh, you certainly want out, don't you? I'm warning you. I will kill that thing. My, you're a cute little thing. Oh you? boy. <laughs> I'd almost hate to have to dissect one of these. It's not it's it's gross. It doesn't even have a face. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it off here. Uh thank you guys so much for watching. I will pick this up a little bit later. Probably. I might even split this one into two episodes because I've been recording for a long time. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.